The universe has approximately 100 billion galaxies. To put this huge number into context, there are about 100 billion hairs on the heads of all the people in Columbus, Ohio. Nearly every smudge you see in the background here is a galaxy. If you look closely, you see that galaxies come in many different shapes, sizes, and colors. Why do galaxies look different from one another? Galaxies look different because they change over time. Astronomers have stared at many images of galaxies from many different time periods, and they found that young galaxies look in a certain way, but old galaxies look different. How does a galaxy change its appearance? One way a galaxy changes is by going through an active phase. Here is a picture of an active galaxy, and you can see a bright light in the center. This light has about the same brightness as 100 billion suns. What is causing so much light to come out of the center of an active galaxy? This is what we think the center of an active galaxy looks like. In the middle is a black hole. The orange is gas falling toward the black hole, just like things fall toward the Earth. This orange gas produces the bright light in the centers of active galaxies. What else do black holes do other than make stuff fall toward them? Black holes can also drive gas back into the galaxy in the form of a wind, which is shown here in blue. This process is just like an engine, which needs gas to make a car drive away. Is it possible that these winds travel out into the surrounding galaxy and change the galaxy's shape, size, and color? This is the question that my dissertation seeks to answer. To understand whether black hole winds affect galaxy evolution, I measure these winds by looking at them with a telescope. Telescopes today can collect the light from a galaxy and split it into a rainbow, just like you see here. This is very important because the rainbows coming from these active galaxies have dark lines in them, and these lines hold precious information about the black hole winds. I measure the dark lines in the rainbows of about 100 active galaxies to gain insight into the black hole winds. I found that some of these winds are capable of changing a galaxy's shape, size, and color, but not all of them. Nevertheless, the fact that we have established that some black hole winds are responsible for changing part of a galaxy's life is very exciting and will allow us to further explore black holes in the centers of galaxies and their important role in our universe. Thank you for listening.